Fertilization To understand the meaning of fertilization, let us review the structure of a male gamete or the sperm and the female gamete or the ovum. Observe the diagram shown here. Entry of sperm into the oviduct. During copulation or sexual union between the male and the female, the sperms are released in the vagina of the female near the cervix of the uterus. A single ejaculation of human male may contain more than 400 million sperms. The sperms are highly motile. They swim with the help of their tail and enter the uterus through its opening the cervix. From the cavity of the uterus, they climb upwards to reach the oviduct. Out of millions of sperms discharged in the uterus, only a few are able to reach the upper parts of the oviduct. The remaining die and are absorbed on the way to oviduct. Out of a few that reach the upper part of the oviduct, many surround the ovum, if it happens to be there. Entry of the sperm in egg. The acrosome of the sperm secretes an enzyme which digests the wall of the egg to make its way inside the egg. As soon as one sperm enters the egg, the entry of the other sperms is prevented by some chemical barrier. At this stage, the tail of the sperm is lost within the cytoplasm of the ovum. The nuclei of the sperm and the oocyte are called as pronuclei. The male pronucleus containing 22 plus X or 22 plus Y chromosomes fuses with the female pronucleus containing 22 plus X chromosomes, thus restoring the normal numbers of 23 pairs of chromosomes. This is the actual act of fertilization. The process of union of a haploid spermatozoan with a haploid ovum to form a diploid zygote is called fertilization. The brand new nucleus formed by the fusion is diploid and restores the original number of chromosomes.